I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, District 6 Community Planners second meeting uh, in April of 2018. I'll uh, start off with introductions. My name is Marvis Phillips. I'm board chair of District 6 Community Planners and I live upstairs on the 12th floor of this building. Hi, my name is Leah Stockstrom, and I'm a, a project manager at TNDC, and I'll be presenting on one of the projects in a couple of minutes. Oh, uh, Susan Bryan, I uh, live here. Uh, I'm a videographer, and I'm not going to do myself, but I'm going to uh, move this around so uh, if you, if you want to be seen. Uh, okay. I'm Reginald Meadows. I live in this building. I'm also on the board with the city of the planners here. I'm also on several other boards in the community. Otto Duffy, I want to be seen. That's why I live in the Tenderloin. I have a giant beard coming up my own face. JD sunglasses. I worked with concrete for a while, and I heard a report on Biosphere 2. You know, it's supposed to be an enclosed environment. And what they discovered was the oxygen was disappearing and concrete up continues to absorb oxygen for at least a decade. Hi, I'm George Bailey. I just stumbled in here. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm a couple of Congress and Fred, and it's good to be here. Okay. I'm Chris Bradford. Uh, I am on the board vice chair or whatever. For the D6CP and uh, co chair of the Tinderland People's Congress and the TNPC board. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Nick Wilder. Um, I'm with uh, TNDC on their housing development team. I'm here to present two projects Eddie and Taylor, Jim Marker across the street, and 1036 Mission just down the road. Hi, I'm Colleen Ma. I'm also with TNDC's housing development department. Um, also, we'll be presenting on a project today. Thank you. Okay, um, following our agenda, uh, our ground rules are we ask that you please turn off all pagers, cell phones, and electronic devices because we do record this, is, this meeting. Um, and if you don't wish to be on the video, we ask that you stay behind the camera. We also ask we do no hackling or name calling. Uh, we want to create a safe environment for every participant. Feel free to speak by reserving in any negativity. We ask you to speak responsibly and emphasize the positive. We also ask you not to interrupt other speakers or engage in side conversations or other distracting behavior when others are speaking. Um, oh, good. Right. Right, gentlemen, like to sign in? Sure. Then you can introduce yourself. Sure. You look Candice Lewis, a sergeant at Tenderloin Station. I actually supervise the Market Street Foot Pizza. I've met at least you before, but. Hello. I'm Sergeant Chris Wilhelm. I'm also on the Market Street Foot Pizza at Tenderloin Station. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we also ask that we have a pet tonight. Uh, we actually have a pet call for people who have pets. And we just ask that people who have pets take responsibility for their pet. Um, and if they uh, get noisy or rambunctious, to uh, try to calm them down, if that doesn't work, to temporarily remove them from the phone so we don't interrupt the speaker. Okay, now, I have, everybody should have an agenda. I have any questions if there's any additions to the agenda or changes anybody wants to make. Seeing none, is there a motion to approve the agenda? 
And so moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. We uh, operate slowly on donations. Um, so I ask people who uh, can give to give what they can. Uh, don't give if you can't give. Um, you can pass this around, Reggie. Thank you, Reggie. Fifty dollars, please. <laughs> I, I, gave, I, also I gave. want to thank people from the uh, area community for coming to the meeting because um, when the uh, Alliance for Better District Six folded last year, uh, one of the things we were concerned about was being able to get people to come to meetings again. So, and while he's passing that around. I just want to make an announcement that um, our meeting in May has uh, two very important characters on it. One, where we have invited the uh, San Francisco Department of Emergency Management to come and do a presentation on um, the city's uh, uh, um, uh, um, Accommodation of services uh, in case of a nuclear attack. This item has been in the news uh, recently, and um, it's important because uh, many people probably are not from the generation that recognizes an air raid siren, um, and they wouldn't know what to do if it went off. Um, and uh, a lot of people don't. Not everybody has a cell phone, not everybody has a computer so they're not hooked up to social media. And in a neighborhood that has over 140 different nationalities, um, it's important that people get the information out. And so uh, they are coming to do a presentation next week on what we as, we as residents can do and what the city can do to help us. And I have invited through Don Fox office, uh, staff from TNDC to come to uh, be part of the audience to uh, learn about the issue to take it back to the organization. The other person coming, Commander Lazar, uh, from uh, uh, David, from Community Services, will also be here to talk about the um, department's homeless outreach program. And we also have a presentation from the uh, design team for the Civic Center redesign plan that has confirmed that they are coming. And I'm still working on other uh, land use issues to see if we can get other people to come. So with that, we'll start our presentations and thank you for the TNDC community projects, 500 Church Street, Soma, Central Soma, etc. If you want to, you can turn the lights off for one light switch for these lights. People see it all right? Or, yeah, we can see it. problem I thought of. Give you an overview of where it is. It's between Howard Street and 
into Hema Street. Um, and if, if you know where that parking lot is, it's just before that parking lot. Um, TNDC also owns that parcel where that parking lot is. To give you an idea. Um, What's the cost for you? Right now. I see there's one I think in front of the parking lot. It's fifth. fifth. Yeah. It's fifth street. This is like fifth? the fifth and Howard parcel. So fifth, fifth street yeah. here, Howard here, underneath to hang on. Um, quick overview is that it's a little over half an acre. Um, it's located at 915 through 921 Howard Street. If you're curious what's there now, um, there's a duvet store. And other than that, there's um, a standing room off the garage. Just and we'll take questions at the end. The Tama Street, it, that's towards Mission, right? It is. It's towards Mission Street. Right. The whole building is going to be 18 stories. It's type 1 and it's um, fire resistant. It's, there's going to be over 152,000 square <coughs> feet of residential space. There's 206 units total. It's a 100% affordable housing property. Um, and there'll be some ground floor retail for um, a community building for this downstairs. The units are set at 60% AMI and 50% AMI. Uh, and the full breakdown is there for how many studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms there are. If you grab one of these, it's written down here if you wanted to copy that down as well. And then just to kind of go over the building amenities and unit amenities, um, there's a community room with a warming kitchen, common area deck. Um, the way that the building is masked is that there's 18 stories going up. And on the Tahima side, it goes about three stories, and then there's going to be a rooftop deck um, garden area for tenants. There's on-site laundry, um, on-site property management, social workers. Um, it's going to be a green building. There's 24-hour property management. And appliances and unit include stoves, bridges, microwaves. And then the three bedroom units, which are geared for families, will be dishwashers as well. As far as the schedule goes, um, we're currently in entitlements and design, and that's going to be for the rest of this year. We're not planning to start construction until about spring 2020, um, with construction complete in 2022, fully leased um, mid to late 2022. That's what we have for now. Um, take questions at the end. Um, as you probably are you know, but I like getting something called the geo tech report. Um, so if you could forward that to me when it's complete. Yeah. Can we have one yet? Not yet. Yeah. We get one before it. And I'll be getting information from the uh, planning department on when environmental documents become available. Sure. So I'll be getting those too. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we've completed a geo tech for this project yet because it's so early, but we can yeah. definitely make sure to send you in. Question. 100% affordable. What does that really mean? What does that really look like? Can this anybody? I can answer that. It's about ninety thousand a year. Not for this. So this I we'll go into this. Friendly. We'll go into well, questions can, at the end, if well, that's okay. Well, you, you just this will be true there. across all four projects. It'll be so the same ballpark. Eight minus ninety thousand. It'll be slightly yeah. different, but in the same in the same ballpark. So we'll go into it across across all projects. Okay. Um, I believe this one was fifty and sixty percent um, AMI. That generally is some. The maximum would be someone making like in the forty thousands a year, but it depends on your family size and things like that. All right, so I'm going to be presenting two projects. The first one um, will be 1036 Mission Street. Uh, 1036 Mission Street is located um, on Mission Street, in between. Uh, I think this is Sixth Street and Seventh Street. So we're up here now, and so it's next to the federal courthouse. Um, so here you can see uh, 1036 Mission Street is currently under construction. Um, it's completing in two months. On the left, you can see what this site looked like from Jesse Street about a year and a half ago, and on the right is what that looked like on Monday. That was pictures from Monday. Um, and then this is the view from Mission Street. So you see the courthouse on the left, the big parking lot. Um, that's from two years ago, and that's what it looked like uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, so the project and there's East Mission Street. This is what it will look like from uh, 
uh, Mission Street was complete. Um, it's 83 apartments, um, for mostly for families. 40 of the apartments will be for homeless individuals. Those will be on a referral basis from the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing. Um, those are for uh, homeless families, so everyone will have um, a child. Um, and then the other 43 will be um, for families earning no more than 50% area median income. And to answer the question, they're the income levels at present. Um, so for one person, about the maximum would be about 40,000 a year, and uh, for two people, it's about 46,000 a year at uh, 1036 mission. Those change every year. And again, those are the maximums. Um, building amenities, this is a rendering of the lobby area, um, a community room um, with a kitchen, outdoor courtyard up on the uh, second floor deck, a rooftop community garden, laundry room, um, artwork throughout, uh, two on-site uh, property managers, uh, on-site maintenance, um, full-time social workers, and 24-7 desk clerk um, security. Um, at 1036 Mission. Um, this is a rendering of the courtyard, um, which will have sort of log play structures, areas to sit outside. Um, and then this is a typical uh, unit layout for a two bedroom. And the schedule here, we started construction uh, almost two years ago in September 2016. We're gonna complete in the next two months uh, tenants will start moving in in June, um, and will be fully leased uh, in September of uh, 2018, so about uh, six months from now. So we'll, I'll take questions on both projects um, after. So we'll move on to Eddie and Taylor family apartments. So Eddie and Taylor is right outside. It's uh, yeah. at the corner of Eddie and Taylor Street. Pretty much everyone um, probably walked past it, walking on the way in. Um, that's a satellite picture of what it looked like before construction um, and looked like for about 60 years. It was a parking lot um, for many years. Again, here's a picture um, from front of the TNDC headquarters. Um, it was a parking lot and billboards for many years. Uh, this is a picture from yesterday. And this is what it will look like in about a year. Um, so again, it'll be a nine-story building, um, uh, about 110 square foot uh, square feet of residential, with a uh, ground floor commercial space <coughs> along the Eddy Street side. That whole area will be um, commercial space. Uh, it again is a family building, so it focuses on larger units. And about, uh, not about, and exactly 30 of those units will be for family homeless individuals. Again, that's a referral basis from the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing, um, where individuals will pay a third of their income, uh, no matter what it is. And we also have five units uh, for adults with developmental disabilities. Um, and similar to the amenities to 1036 Mission, uh, this is a rendering of the lobby area looking out to Taylor Street, um, the mailbox lobby and the artwork um, will be present on the walls. Uh, the retail space uh, is a five, uh, about five and a half thousand square foot retail space um, dedicated to improving access to healthy, affordable food in the Tenderloin. Um, this space will likely be divided into parts. Uh, one will be a market, um, about 4,000 feet, and the other will probably be a small cafe or hot food um, uh, area. So we're working with uh, different uh, potential tenants for those, for those two spaces, but um, they will be related to food security, food justice, uh, job training um, in that space. Um, the schedule we started uh, construction, sorry, that should say uh, June uh, 2017. We started construction about 10 months ago. We'll complete construction about a year from now in May 2019 and be leased thereafter. The important date um, for anyone who would wish to live in that building would be uh, January, February 
of uh, next year of 2019 is when applications 